it's Theo Kaden here from Fiction Atlas Press bringing you another indie connection. Today I'm going to be telling you about some indie books that you might enjoy if you're a fan of Christopher Panellini's To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. The first book I have for you is called Engage at Dawn by Edward Hotchman. The discovery of a drug runner's derelict boat with extensive and inexplicable damage leads young Coast Guard officer Ben Wyprick and his crew on a dangerous mission to locate a crashed alien vessel before a transnational criminal organization known as the 252 Syndicate can find it. Driven by a mysterious government agent obsessed with secrecy, the crew of the aging Coast Guard cutter Kauai is ill-prepared to handle the mission. The operation quickly turns into a life-and-death race with the technologically advanced and murderous syndicate to find and contact the first known extraterrestrial visitors to Earth. The second book I have for you is called Outcast by Joshua James and Daniel Young. Misfits, Losers, Outcasts, and Earth's Only Hope Two decades after he was banished from his homeworld for a disaster that still haunts him, Eli Bryce and his crew of unrepentant troublemakers struggle to survive on the edges of the galaxy. But when they rescue a near-dead castaway with an impossible secret, everything changes. Soon, the greatest conspiracy in the galaxy is unfolding around them, and they have no choice but to fight. But what can one ship full of outcasts do to save Earth and the rest of the galaxy from annihilation? More than anyone could imagine. The third book I have for you is called Starshine, Aurora Rising Book One by G.S. Jensen. Space is vast and untamed, and it holds many secrets. Now two individuals from opposite ends of settled space are on a collision course with the darkest of those secrets, even as the world threatens to explode around them. The year is 2322. Humanity has expanded into the stars, inhabiting over 100 worlds across a third of the galaxy. Though thriving as never before, they have discovered neither alien life nor the key to utopia. Earth struggles to retain authority over far-flung planets and free-willing corporations, while an uneasy armistice with the Breakaway Federation hangs by a thread as the formal rebels rise in wealth and power. Alexis Solvoy is Earth Alliance royalty, her father a fallen war hero and her mother an influential military leader. But she seeks only the freedom of space and has made a fortune by reading the patterns in the chaos to discover the hidden wonders of the stars. Nothing about her latest objective suggests the secret it conceals will turn her life, not to mention the entire galaxy, upside down. But a chance encounter with a mysterious spy leads to a discovery which will thrust Alex into the middle of a galactic power struggle and a sinister conspiracy, whether she likes it or not. And the last book I have for you is Milligen by Clayton Graham. First contact is imminent, but it comes with conditions. Laura and Jason are on vacation when their lives are turned upside down by otherworldly creatures that fall to earth in the dead of night. Frightened and bewildered, they become trapped in a dark and mysterious conflict between clandestine Earth forces and the alien wave, and Laura's world starts to unravel. But everything may not be as it appears. Could the aliens have an ulterior motive? And do they have a mission for Jason? The world may not be ready for alien communication, but it may have little choice in the matter. Okay, that's all for me this week. I'll see you next week on The Indie Connection. Bye! Thank you.